and all present here uh, it is once again a fantastic saturday uh, it's one more self discovery 1.0 it is a very interesting personality i recently came across okay, very, very just very passionate woman where just wanted to work with the little ones especially on the future and uh, where we need to touch to take care of the future's life it's only only parenting side right so she is but dedicated her entire life to working with the parenting and and what are the obstacles we we just gone through and what are the way we can just motivate them and take them and take them to the next level all this research uh, meticulously she is doing so it was it was very pleasure to uh, introduce her into a forum of um, midna ma'am the floor is yours uh, to present your um, self discovery 1.0 please thank you sir thank you so much yeah very good afternoon and one and all present here so being a saturday dasra holiday started and the long weekend even pan india movie has been uh, you know released in spite of that you people are here and uh, i'm so privileged the first thing either you are interested about this uh, gpp or any uh, profile of anyone here or the second reason you are curious about this uh, self discovery session so both way either way i'll satisfy you i have that hope so yeah here is my uid before going to explain this uid you yourself will come to know uh, what my ex profile is doing here d1 d2 all these things you know so let me start from my childhood uh, i definitely say it's an interesting um, childhood as well my uh, schooling you know um, we are uh, three daughters in a family my father is a extraordinary person he is 70 years now but uh, anybody can connect with 17 plus year you know that much energy and a vibrant personality i think i'm having just 5 percentage of his energy so from my childhood he is a hero and uh, you know being a first daughter uh, you know elder one i'm having that uh, i don't know now i could reconnect with uh, the profile but uh, earlier i used to think why i'm like this i never ever used to be uh, dependent on anyone even uh, the school uh, you know any person is uh, any function if i want to get some 100 rupees i think for, uh, almost 100 times why i want to ask this with uh, appa so better can we arrange some alternative thing can we skip this program so i won't ask even that money from my father and uh, yeah very my mother used to call me that please talk something why you are very adamant so i used to be very calm but my mother thinks that i am a very adamant child but very calm and polite girl from childhood and uh, even from my fourth standard i started this uh, uh, or it uh, you know um, stage competitions elocution competitions and my one speciality is i never ever used to prepare for anything this is my first time even bubalan sir asked me to get ready with ppt seriously i got uh, you know stuck somewhere i uh, needed some help because extempo speech whatever topic you give i try to you know make, give some justification for that topic okay so i i'm having that skill and uh, ev with everyone i my friends used to comment anandi you 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 are having friends in uh, this housekeeping your uh, uh, friend with them and even the principal your friend with the principal your friend with the, all the all kind of people i used to mingle and uh, everybody is equal for me from my childhood and never ever you know nobody can hurt my self esteem i have that uh, huge you know high self esteem from my childhood i can say uh this is my childhood and uh, the days pass on mm, very i want i say the primary days yeah primary school up to 8th standard 9th standard even up to 10th standard i was very good in my studies okay and um, meantime i want to tell about my family uh, because my mom is having huge patience i'm eagerly waiting tomorrow i want to check her uh, uid okay so i want to check whether what kind of profile she is having i am quite eager last uh, few days back only i got the scan machine 
So my mom is having huge patience. I'm having that patience with me. My dad is having vibrant energy, I said earlier. So the same energy is with me. So the combination of mom and dad, I'm proudly I'm saying here. And uh, both my sisters, yeah, uh, even I'm like next curiosity is with my sisters. We all three daughters, wherever we go, my friends, relatives, uh, all the family members, they used to say, you three are same. So there comes a, a very important thing for me, important point strike off that uh, uh, parenting, you know, our, our parents did a huge role, I guess. Our uh, gestures, you know, the, the way, the values and uh, uh, so many things, helping tendency and determination, willpower. We all three are entrepreneurs. Okay, we are ha equally having uh, degrees, all a double degree, but even though uh, we are interested with uh, entrepreneur uh, skill, so we three are, you know, I think it's because of uh, maybe the parenting or uh, you know, maybe genetic. So, and uh, very, very, very uh, lovable family. So I say not even a not, not, not one percentage. I never, ever felt Oh, why these people are around me? No, I never felt that way. So I'm so, so blessed in um, each and every, you know, sisters, mother, father. Even now, you know, after marriage, 16 years of marriage, my sister, uh, you know, both the sisters are like, each and every time they uplift me and they help me. And uh, we are very, very, very close. Many people, they used to say, how, how you three are like this? So every time, daily, at least once I'm getting that sentence from someone so I'm I'm so privileged here and uh, next to that my schools and college days yeah very interesting as I said uh, my primary school was okay uh, I'm the pupil leader uh, wherever I go I used to get some postings uh, okay uh, school pupil leader or uh, art uh, uh, art and science you know craft uh, wherever uh, Anandi is going to be there especially in the elocution competition um, my my staff members used to say Anandi can you please sit some one hour inside the classroom never I used to roam everywhere and uh, during my 10th standard yeah I got good score around 85 percentage if I'm not wrong but uh, I don't know what happened in my 11th 12th million dollar question until last March okay but by March I have gone through my GPP I got asked okay my primary is uh, seriously uh, uh, low energy I don't know what happened yes now I got the reason so I didn't concentrate on my studies I, I'm capable I was capable but that time I don't know I couldn't concentrate on any of my uh, you know academic skills but I have I used to daydream Anandi, you're going to achieve something big. Don't do not uh, do what others are doing. So some inner voice, I don't know which, uh, uh, now I got the culprit, but uh, that time, seriously, I used to, I, I used to be a big daydreamer um, and every people used to appreciate me for my kindness, for my helping tendency, for my, you know, oratorical competition and uh, that, that skill. But education wise, gradually 11th and 12th, 12th, 8th standard, I the sorry 10 standard I got 100 uh, um, math I get 90 95 and above but in 12th standard I got just pass my family members really really got confused what happened to this girl why the 10th standard above 85 percentage 12th standard she got so poor mark even uh, you know God only knows that and uh, because of my uh, this uh, you know auditory skill I, I asked my parents, I want to do be a lawyer. I want to be a lawyer, but uh, nobody gave the green signal. So with uh, parents' compulsion, dad's compulsion, I got only, with my mock, I got only uh, English literature, BA, uh, MA, MPhil, no other go, without any interest, without any interest. As usual, the same thing happened. I never used to sit in my classrooms. I used to roam everywhere. I'm the finance secretary. I'm the NSS secretary. I used to go to NSS work, all the stage competitions. Uh, in every function, Anandi does um, welcome address and also the uh, the final one. Okay. Uh, all these things I do. Happily, I do. But uh, somehow I get uh, scored some 60, 70 percentage in my BA, MA. And uh, my father is so curious. Uh, that time, you know, uh, in my relatives, in my community, being a three daughters, having three daughters, 
everybody is pressurizing my dad that you have to marry her. The first daughter you have to marry. She is almost 24 or 23. You have to marry her. But my father is so stubborn. That is, I'm telling 16 years back. So my father is so stubborn. No, she has to stand on her own leg. I uh, I'll give my head, you know, I'll, I'll dare anything for their studies. Okay. Later, their future is in their hands. So I, I'm not going to compromise anything in their studies. So my father is having such a huge dream on myself. Uh, my sisters, you know, that time she did BE in a very good, uh, you know, I think uh, good marks and designation. She passed BE. Another sister also passed very good marks in 12th standard. But I'm, uh, uh, you know, a different person from my uh, school and college days. And uh, during my MPhil degree, during that time, yeah, uh, uh, during my MA, I got a chance to do this uh, psychotherapy. Uh, some uh, it's an online program, uh, it's an online course. Um, I got uh, into that course, MS Psychotherapy and Counseling course. That is that was attracting because this BA MA is not at all attracting me. Okay, this Shakespeare. Uh, oh God. Uh, seriously, if a class starts with some poetic or anything, you know, I get uh, obsessed with the, when I can go out and I can do something for the uh, upcoming function. Or uh, all the time, I used to be in auditorium, so I got really, really pissed off with the BA MA curriculum and all. But uh, no other go because of my dad's compulsion. I again enrolled with MPhil. So it's going like that. And uh, meantime, I enrolled with psychotherapy and counseling. Seriously, that time, the two-year course, I was so much interested in that and I got good scores in that. So that time only I found, okay, uh, I'm not a right person for this literature, okay? So I, even till date, uh, many people might know this uh, history, the Pony and Selvan has released. I hate that history subject. I don't know why. And uh, uh, luckily, the psychotherapy was interested and I did that MS psychotherapy. And meantime, okay, I got a job for that MA MPhil. I got a, a posting as a lecturer in a college. Don't worry. Uh, seriously, very good in articulation, right? So I managed that. Just for six months, I went to uh, that job as a lecturer. Meantime, my uh, dad, uh, you know, uh, fixed a guy and we got married in 2005. Mm, that comes a shock okay no, my husband is saying no you shouldn't go to any work okay um oh my god how dare you're telling like that see i did ma MPhil, that is secondary and i did ms psychotherapy also that is all okay but my husband is telling that no you shouldn't go for work a yeah, man in that case you would have married a girl with uh, you know third standard fourth standard pass or fail but why you married me so I thought, okay, let me convince him later. Somehow everything is okay. So we got married and slowly I, I convinced him. And uh, I said, I don't want to be a lecturer. For sure, I don't want to go to college. And uh, this, uh, you know, monotonous job, I hate like anything. So I don't want to do that. Don't worry. But I want to do something unique. Okay. So I said, okay, what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. Because I was very blank, you know. But one thing uh, I used to say, Work on your strength. So I know my strength is, okay, I can convince people or I can spread happiness. I say I'm positive to the core. Whatever you say, Anandi, this world is going to, you know, in another one hour, Chennai is going to face a big tsunami or earthquake. I don't worry about it. Okay, I'll say, okay, let me see what is going to happen. Please wait. We can manage. I say immediately, I'll give some positive remarks. So that's how I've been, uh, you know, uh, built, right? So I said, uh, okay, one word is happiness. I want to do something. Meantime, meantime, I forgot to add up one point. Uh, during my college days, we had a function in my town, uh, Native E Road. A person uh, came as a speaker. She spoke that uh, while her uh, uh, speech, she said one point. During pregnancy, that time she started a, a center. Okay. And she said, during pregnancy, Whatever the intense message is going inside a pregnant woman, okay, whatever she is keep on repeatedly thinking that is reflecting in the baby's, uh, you know, character or personality or uh, psychologically, it's doing some impact. That one word, you know, it went inside. I couldn't sleep and uh, I called her and I went her and met in person. I said, uh, uh, Ma'am, if you're telling that, 
then it's an easy job, right? We can easily change the humanity, right? If during pregnancy, if something is going inside, means we can deliberately do that. And really got stuck with my point and she said, you are unmarried. You're just doing your college third year degree. Why you are having this kind of, you know, urge? Okay, I wish you that once you get married, once you delivered and, uh, you know, after gaining a lot of knowledge, I wish you, you can spread this uh, message to the society. My wishes. That day, she sent her sent me back. I came, but I couldn't sleep. Daily, daily, you know, now and then, now and then, that psychology and this, uh, you know, this uh, pregnancy uh, concept is uh, troubling me. I say that's a sweet trouble. And I got married, as I said, and I got pregnant. By the time my husband is so clear, okay, you got pregnant. So now you have to, you have a good job now. Please take care of uh, your pregnancy and uh, go for, uh, you know, uh, childbearing days. That is going to be sweet. So please enjoy. I got inside. I got a huge fire. Daily, daily, I'm thinking that, no, I will bring this, you know, sky down. How are you telling that? But I, I won't, I won't fight with him. I won't argue with him. Touch wood till date, it's 16 years now, but we never ever have any argument. I'll tell you why that, the secret, okay, in my profile, it's there. So, um, it went on uh, during my pregnancy, I that flashed up. So, pregnancy, if something goes inside, it is going to come out in a magnanimous way, right? Okay, let, let, contact, let, me, let me contact that person. I contact her, but uh, some reasons, you know, being a positive personality during my pregnancy, I got totally pissed off. I was in the closed room, huge, you know, the depression means high amount of depression. I never ever spoke with any person. I used to be in the locker room. I always cry. If I see my husband, uh, totally I'll get collapsed. So that's how. Um, but inside locked room, I did something magical things like uh, I always play with uh, uh, play chess in the laptop. I hear music. I'm a bit reader. Okay, wherever I see book, I used to sit. And uh, even if you ask uh, uh, Anandi, I want some, you know, 50 lakhs, 20 lakhs. If I'm having, I'll give it to you immediately. But if you ask some book from me, I never ever give any books uh, to anyone. So that kind of, uh, you know, obsessed with the books. So I used to read. I read that time also during my pregnancy. I never met any people outside. Even many friends came and went back because I was not interested to see any new faces or any, you know, I was not good that good in socializing that time. So everybody understood. Uh, but later only I got that comment, Anandi, why you behaved that way? We came to see you. So I was really, after delivery, I jumped into another world and... Uh, Yes, uh, that time I got certain inputs, right? During pregnancy and early childhood. Uh, okay, at least this early childhood, I have to do something with the baby. Because uh, if you miss something in the pregnancy, the first three years, still the brain is like a wet clay. So I did certain things, you know, sensorial activities, a lot of new stuff. And, uh, you know, first three years, my son enjoy like anything. We went to US. Uh, yeah. Meantime, I met that uh, person who, who was my inspiration, right? During my college days, I met her and she, uh, she said that, okay, you can start the, uh, the pregnancy program, this program in Bangalore. That time I was in Bangalore. So she said, okay, you can start that program now. You're already delivered and you're having your baby with you. It's the right time. You can uh, give that as a, you know, we can take that as a, uh, profile uh, career so i was very eager i started finding place that time again god played uh, in my you know dream badly so my husband got on site offer mm, that time my son was just one year and eight months uh, 10 months so my husband said i got on site offer it's a very good offer i can't miss it so please kindly excuse me just two years come with me let's go to uh, abroad that is california in us we went to california so just two years okay somehow we'll get settled and then we'll come back and i'll definitely i'll help you for your dreams to come true so i said okay with that promise we start we left uh, bangalore and we were in california for almost uh, 
two years, exactly two years, another another coincidence, or uh, I don't know, yeah, obviously it's a coincidence. California, we have a lot of uh, institute and, uh, you know, what to say, brain, early brain development research, you know, a lot of uh, universities are there. Uh, you know, I got, uh, luckily I got uh, contact with uh, that kind of university and I did some volunteer program and a lot of things. Uh, first three years, what the brain is doing, uh, um, you know, with the EEG, they are showing that, what sort of connections going on. And I'm very particular about the pregnancy. So I thought, okay, even th uh, this three years, pregnancy is a very uh, smart way we can change. So I, I have that strong thought, right? So both got mixed up. Okay, so pregnancy and parenting, if you're doing some magic, okay, whatever the genetic imprints we can change. So that is my strong point. I did, and I did a lot of research with that. In uh, Exactly, my husband just, he gave, uh, within two uh, years, he said, okay, we leave uh, California, we'll go back to uh, Native and we'll start your program. So by the time I did this childbirth educator, that's a namesake, okay, I did that uh, course, uh, birth educator. And um, because we need some degrees, right? So oh, to showcase. So I came up with that birth educator because I want to talk with the pregnant women, okay? So I got the degree and I came back to Chennai. That time we came to Chennai in 2011. So I initiated this happy motherhood program just with three ladies, neighborhood ladies, those who are pregnant. And I spoke with them throughout pregnancy, daily, daily. I gave some input like, uh, be be happy. Your uh, diet matters. Your everyday attitude matters. Your baby is like um, sucking your energy, not only energy, blood and everything, even your thoughts. So seventh, eighth, ninth month is a very, very, very crucial phase. So uh, especially seventh, eighth, ninth month. Okay. So I said daily, daily, I used to give a clear chart from morning to night, what you have to do almost 100 percentage nobody can follow but uh, for my satisfaction okay some 50 to 60 percentage many people have tried but uh, uh, yes uh, again I have a big dream I said right um, even now I'm open to say uh, that to say that uh, definitely I'll get before I you know before my uh, end of my life I will get an individual um own flight on myself okay in my name so i'm having that big dreams so mm, materialistic yeah this is a passion thing passionate thing uh i never ever ask any money from them the early days i have huge guilt and uh, i never ask money from any participants okay free classes initially i started and slowly my doctor said anandi you can't go with that money has some wa value if you're giving it just free then nobody, uh, uh, you know, treat that as a valuable thing. So please charge something. So I started within one year time, you know, I got some experience and I started charging just 500 rupees, 600 rupees for the throughout pregnancy programs, you know, classes. And it went like that. But my huge dream about my materialistic life, I want to earn big. I want to do multiple business, a huge business. Yeah, I have a big dream. But my husband used to be very calm. Whenever I say, okay, we have to get this, get that. I want to do this. He used to be very silent, very, very, uh, you know, if he say no, at least I can satisfy, but he won't say anything. He won't reply me anything. Okay. So the days went by and uh, slowly my sessions got, uh, you know, um, it's, uh, 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 yeah, huge recognition I got in this Chennai. That time, 2011, only two birth educators, myself and one more person. But now it's thousands of birth educators are there. So immediately, you know, slowly, I add up certain programs like parenting, pre-pregnancy. Before pregnancy, we need certain guidance, okay? So, um, the, I, I think that's the time, 2005, yeah, 2000, uh, sorry, 2011, I started. 2013, 14 onwards, um, the huge fever, that's a term called infertility. So, 2009, there is, uh, two, yeah, 2009, it's only for 30 fertility centers now it's more than 300 fertility centers in chennai okay so infertility become a huge huge uh, you know, vulnerable phase it started so i was working there also i i'm still working over there why this infertility is arising so we have to correct long thing from childhood we have to correct certain things but at least what we can do for this uh, uh, couple so i started pre-pregnancy program i indulged them with uh, right diet and uh, proper lifestyle 
emotionally balanced uh, thing okay i want anybody whoever surrounds me whoever surrounded they have to be happy i can't tolerate if anybody is sad or if anybody is uh, you know that um, the polymer is kind of that if it started you know complaining i never to tolerate that okay so i want people to be happy around i feel always feel that the happiness is a birth right okay so i started doing um additionally this is for the passionate i said but additionally i started a parlor i started a restaurant i started uh, in in sholing nalur i started you know service apartment so all these things are going simultaneously okay so uh, but i am not earning good money in this happy motherhood program with the pregnancy and parenting i am not earning good money i get some money i pay for the rent that's it and for the uh, trainers and uh, for the receptionist i pay that's it i am not making i was not making big money until 2017 or 18 and another thing is uh, no i can't give a immediate result okay so i am telling pregnant women you have to be happy Uh, no stress, uh, good lifestyle, but immediately we can't see the result, right? Once the baby started coming, after two years, after three years, people are coming that my baby is in good birth weight compared to others. My baby good weight, and the baby is latching well. My baby is sleeping well. My baby is having good appetite. My baby is uh, very sharp in things. The very good, you uh, know, uh, the proper milestone. Uh, the baby achieved proper milestone, good articulation. So everything. So slowly, after three years, four years. i could see the difference whoever attended the happy motherhood program and whoever is a, the common people i could see the drastic difference with them so then it started booming okay so in chennai uh, we started four centers during 2017 i i, I was planning to make it as a pan india thing i was working and meantime the covid came but um, pre pregnancy pregnancy parenting i think the we happy motherhood is having the one under the roof right uh, under one roof we are having all these sessions and uh, yeah i say um, by 2019 and all yeah we got uh, good re revenue and we gave that as a franchise centers uh, but uh, inside you know uh, for every batch i give certain new activities i won't follow the same pattern i won't follow the same uh, training i give certain new things pregnant women they went to beach uh, we we put up in a beach session we put up in a water zumba aquatic zumba keyboard classes dance what not you name it we has it so pregnant women enjoyed everything in us and in our session so i want only thing is they have to be happy they have to forget about no anxiety no depression nothing okay they can dream about their baby and everybody is making that see physical uh, uh, we name that as visualization i think everybody knows about the secret book yes i am a good follower of that secret book so our, our thoughts uh, we can visualize that that is going to be in a reality so law of science law of attraction so i implemented that in my pregnant women um, in the se sessions trainings so they started writing about their uh, you know upcoming baby during uh, you know womb so they started writing about their wish about the baby every kanna so about the eyelids i cheeks you know the the uh, uh, the dots in the cheek right and what else um forehead hair texture whatever physically they are writing it started coming so i got okay so whatever the pregnant women is seriously focusing it's happening because i'm not saying this is a name say there are theories and there are proof there are proof Uh, up to 1960 the theory said the human is 90% genetic and 10% environment but after 1960s theory uh, only 50 50 it's 50 50 so it's not 90 10 it's 50 50 50 genetic and 50 is environment so what is that environment the mother's thought food her food and the uh, you no know, surrounding the people everything matters so and one more additional point is yeah um mm, if a mother the, the thought and the intensity you know even that can change the genetic imprints rna dna of the uh, thing can get changed with the mother's influence mother's uh, uh, intensity uh, the thought intensity so i got very clear okay we are going to do something with this so uh, i put a big picture you know um, your um, baby's physical not only physical physical things but even the characters 
the mother started designing their baby's character and now each and every kid whoever is coming to happy motherhood and who are dedicatedly you know uh, attending our program and following that follow, following up matters right so whoever follows that um, uh, their their physical health mental health emotional health if it's stable and they are uh, they're doing meditation they are doing visualization they are thinking about their uh, future uh, you know upcoming future and they are making it 200 percentage i can give a lot of proofs and every kid I, I have two different studies the first study is in chennai particularly after this uh, not only after this covid even before that out of 10 okay one kid for sure the baby is having some learning disability either adhd autism <laughs> some kind of you know uh, mental illness 10 one out of 10 okay 10 is to 1 ratio. I'm sorry, one, one, 9 is to out of 100, 10 kids are affecting. But in this happy motherhood, almost this is uh, 11th year, and thousands of kids, uh, you know, nobody, nobody come, came across with uh, ADHD or SPD or whatever you name it. Nobody came across with that kind of illness or condition. So I proudly say that uh, the genetic and environment is collaborating. If we are correcting certain things, yes, uh, we can bring up better human, a bright uh, future, you know, for the um, humanity. So I'm working there. And uh, additionally, yes, so many articles I started writing, so many TV programs I started doing. And in the corner, Tamil Nadu people, you know, from the south part, many people, those who can't attend the session, they um, call me. And I still date, till date, I'm giving some free counseling. And uh, yeah, <laughs> not only a birth educator, I'm a psychotherapist, yeah, lactation counselor. So 360 degree, whatever a human needs, okay, for the emotional wellness. I'm a yoga practitioner and Reiki, pranic practitioner, pregnancy nutritionist, NLP trainer, meditation, visualization, okay. Yeah, I'm very good in that uh, visualization. So people love, uh, happy motherhood mothers, everybody loves our visualization session. And yeah, I'm a writer and a public motivational speaker also. I love that. Still date, I'm going many of the colleges, schools, radio programs, TV programs. I'm uh, in a regional way. Okay, I, I'm not doing uh, across, uh, you know, globe, but only in Tamil Nadu, I'm doing that. And I'm a YouTuber, Joe Stark speaker, entrepreneur. Yeah, now, okay, uh, I'm, you know, started doing, okay, 10 years of training. Okay, that's okay. But I have to focus on my dream, the next dream. So I'm doing that. Uh, I'm starting a, a brand called Rolly Tolly that is in pipeline. And my husband started his uh, his uh, organization. I'm co-founder and I'm helping him also. And the basically core thing is I'm a founder of Happy Motherhood. I'm uh, so proud and, uh, you know, in telling that Happy Motherhood. Okay. So I feel like uh, that's my first family. Next is my family. Okay. That Happy Motherhood family is my first. So this is what uh, the picture I want to emphasize so genetic and environment, you can see that uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, see, almost everything done, emotional things and uh, vision and hearing, okay? So it's, uh, it's a superb thing is going on inside the brain in the first three years. So if suppose, if suppose that, uh, uh, you know, L part, uh, for example, that red color line is, one second, one second. Mm. Yeah, the red color line is symbol. Uh, I can decode that hearing part. Yeah, that green color uh, line, right? That green color graph. That part, if suppose it's very low, uh, we can stimulate that during the first two to three years. After that, once it falls down around, uh, you know, this uh, mid of three year, four year time, you can't lift it up. So the same way, first zero to four years, whatever is lagging, if a parent is trying, definitely he or she, the parent can bring it up. Okay. So that is my focus and I'm doing that sincerely. So many might know about the word called epigenetic. Yes, epigenetic is uh, very serious in other countries, Japanese and Chinese. There's, those people are working in that epigenetic. Epigenetic is nothing but uh, the best gene from male, the best gene from female can get collaborated and we can bring up a prodigy, you know, we can bring up a, a sibling. So, sorry, uh, you know, the next generation is seriously they're working. So we are always 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, we are uh, always complaining of human. 
why my husband is like that why my dad is like that why my son is like that no we can't change anything so from genes certain things has to get changed at least if not genetic uh, otherwise missed part can get corrected during pregnancy if not in pregnancy at least in the early school early days uh, brain development has to happen if nothing okay then it's like uh, there is a saying after three it's like playing with a handicap so seriously uh, yeah environment can influence a person but early days is a smart work so i'm believing that and i'm doing that and one more thing yeah i'm passionate uh, you know how much to the core like uh, i delivered my first son you all know that 2007 i delivered my first son okay uh, yeah as per i don't know during my pregnancy i said i was quite depressed and i was in the locked room my first son also having some kind of you know he won't uh, he's not that talkative he wants to be in a locked room he never ever wants to meet people so quite submissive uh, you know yes no that's all uh, he's a very good uh, uh, having good skill in uh, uh, very talkative but he never ever uh, you know what to say waste energy in that simply say yes no but wherever need the needed you know need arise yeah he used to open up so that kind of person and uh, the second pregnancy after 10 years gap because in the 10 years i massively spent my days in the research of pregnancy and parenting so second time i thought okay i want to make it uh, all the trial in the there is a saying kattukitta motta vittai okay so whatever i learned so i want to implement in the second pregnancy i planned after 10 years gap and one more thing uh, whoever comes to my session during pregnancy somehow i'll mentally change them or uh, emotionally i make them mind to make natural delivery vaginal birth so i'm good you know motivational speaker right so how i I'll, i'll motivate them that way so during my first pregnancy it was a c section emergency c section so i want okay how dare i can take class to my clients without doing myself uh, vaginal birth so i have to undergo whatever i missed during first pregnancy i want to change it so during second pregnancy i uh, i was not in the locked room you won't believe i was not inside the room i always roaming during my delivery also my doctor called me and advised anandi please don't travel in the car uh, you you may deliver in the car she warned me so that that's how i traveled a lot during my second pregnancy i was so talkative i daily daily i met one new person okay and uh, i, I explore new places and first pregnancy was not that good foodie uh, i hate food the first one exactly uh, he was very foodie and he, you know he is not a, a very poor eater so the second pregnancy i loved each and every day i had a very healthy food and uh, daily i used to tell that my son is going my baby is going to be a foodie baby healthy eater and very talkative and highly energetic all these three things happened and i delivered vaginally after 10 years we call that as uh, the term as b back vaginal birth after c section so i made it after 10 years gap i delivered vaginally so that was my 36th year so everybody 36th year how come you are going to breastfeed i breastfed him for almost two plus years so everything uh, fourth day onwards i took him to the center and he traveled along with me even the my second son never wants to be inside my inside home all time he you can see him he used to be roaming even now he used he's uh, getting roamed in somewhere in the apartment so he never wants to be inside so opposite of first and second many many people might know that first and second opposite uh, but to my case yeah i have some uh, you know systematic approach so i can easily differentiate that so second son uh, he's just four and a half years now so this is my parenting program yeah some some pictures every week we used to conduct parenting program and uh, happy mothers always i surround with happy mothers after this covid i uh, seriously i miss this gathering nowadays it's only online sessions are going on and hopefully by next month we are again going to meet up yes uh, some of my awards yeah i usually i won't ap- apply for any awards or anything but uh, i got certain things like uh, south indian women achievers award glass ceiling award surya shakti awards urani awards some of them i didn't mention so these are my awards and recognitions more than that um, yeah i said um, i until last march i was working on strength i always feel and i advise also anyone please find your strength and work on it but after gbb only i thought okay we have to work with weakness 
Once we work on our weakness, we do great things. That clarity I got from this March. Okay, so I'm so, so happy. It's an eye-opening thing, GBV. I was waiting for that. I was longing for that because all the time I'm, I'm uh, obsessed with the brain. What this brain is doing? Finally, oh my God, this is now fingerprint. So fingerprint is depicting our brain design. Wow, what a magic. Because uh, many people, my brother advised me, my sister-in-law advised me, my friends advised me, do this GVP, genetic brain profiling thing. But, uh, you know, I didn't even uh, acknowledge them. I don't know what happened. So recently this year, uh, you know, uh, my brother, again, uh, he advised me to go for this genetic brain profiling. And yes, I uh, did that. And yes, uh, next thing, yeah, I want to, <laughs> yes, um, this my strength, meantime, I want to tell about my strength and weakness. So always pleasing. Uh, everybody knows that. And I always be a positive person. No negative words. Nothing will come out of me. And I'm a big, big dreamer. Yes, I will achieve my dreams for sure. And uh, good articulation. Decision making. Yeah, very, very fast. Yeah, of course, uh, our strength are sometimes a weakness, right? Balamda, balavinam. So, so many of my strength, yes, it acts as a weakness also. So I'm easily influenceable. If someone is coming and saying it uh, in a very pleasing voice, in another 10 minutes, I'll get convinced with their uh, points also. And more empathy towards everything, everything. So now, uh, yeah, I'm working over there and emotionally imbalanced. Uh, used to cry a lot. If somebody is crying, yeah, immediately I'll also cry. I'm not a good person for counseling, but somehow I'm managing that and I'm doing that. And very inconsistent, yeah. Uh, he, so many things. My husband used to do only one thing at a time, but I used to take 10 things at a time and I never complete anything. So I'm having that inconsistent nature. I want to correct that. Physical work, yes, I'm very lazy, uh, you know, but mental work, yeah, I used to be very fast. <laughs> but, uh, you know, any decision things, decision making, I'm very fast. But the physical work, if you ask me to do some cleaning work or some organizing things, no, I won't. Physically, I'm so lazy and less energy I'm having. Yes, now coming to GBP, yeah, many people <laughs> I think, what is this? Uh, D1, D2, A1, X1, so Midna family. Yes, I'm so privileged. You people are here. By seeing this, you might come to know, okay, what personality she is. Uh, but uh, some of you, those who are not aware of this GBP, please, uh, guys, you have to do this GBP. Uh, this D1, D2, A1, X1, these are, you know, after seeing that, uh, Bubalan sir explained me, um, seriously, first time I was very reluctant. How come how the fingerprints are going to determine the person, uh, the brain? But uh, first thing he said, your temporal energy is good. I was seriously, whether he knows me already, whether he has seen my uh, profile already. So that shock is still there. So he said, okay, temporal lobe, how you are going to be, what that X1 is going to do, what kind of personality you are and what the D1, D2. And uh, seriously, that day I was, uh, I, won, I, I didn't totally convinced. I won't say I, I convinced totally, but uh, thousands of doubts arise. And immediately I did with my youngest, eldest son and younger son also. He's uh, just four years that time he, we did that. And uh, uh, all my first son, he was uh, asked, Amma, that I think he watched me secretly, uh, you know, uh, inside the room. So that's how he opened. He disclosed everything about my elder son. And... Um, Next to Bhubal and yeah, uh, this uh, you could see the energy level. Yeah, my temporal energy is seriously high. And uh, this D1, D2, uh, I said, right, my planning, uh, sorry, execution level, uh, I get certain times um, not execute you know, in a proper way. I have some confusions. And another thing is partnership never ever worked with work me because uh, before I can, uh, before I do one thing, I'll go to next idea. So that's the reason I never got a good partnership of uh, things in my uh, entrepreneurship. But okay, now I got clear and uh, I, I'm doing some corrections with that. And parental, yeah, um, I said, right, I'm having low energy kind of. <laughs> and the next thing is, yeah, um, 
this i'll tell you what the x is doing and uh, one second so can you please change this yeah okay so i said write the x uh, i want to tell you the x personality many midna family members you know that the x is the million dollar question we can't predict them they are more of self centric or uh, the reverse of a we all know that so uh, seriously the psychology the interest towards psychology and uh, the influence with uh, many things and want to be to be unique everywhere all these things you know my training uh, strategies and uh, training programs everything is because of the x i came to know uh, after this gpp i was really uh, you know uh, feel great about it okay i'm being an x personality okay i'll make some things you know in a, in a different way i have that uh, dream and uh, this you know I, i'm not still i'm not satisfied with this uh, gpp i want to explore many things uh, luckily vanita introduced uh, you know this training program and the first session my training session itself from ratnasami sir uh, even i that day itself uh, uh, the first day i think um, he gave some insights about the um, you know my gpp he said one word you are a special edition so still i am having that message with me sir so special edition yes i will prove it uh, you know till that i feel like i'm i'm doing some just baby steps but i will do big things for sure i i prove that word is uh, really true and uh, my husband was against to this gbb you know he was not interested until last week uh, yeah this is 10th september right so until last uh, few days he was not interested but after that every day and night i was talking about that and i seriously did some changes inside me okay i got some better clarity why i was that way so i i keep on talking about x x x personality i am x personality so i was really shocked by seeing his x1 and x2 in this uh, frontal area uh i know many times yeah he won't he won't all he won't talk he won't uh, respond i couldn't know how he is going to respond i was waiting for him one example i want to give uh, i do i if i'm wrong um, ratna sami sir and others has to correct me yesterday we went to uh, yeah i have some uh, dentist appointment okay dental appointment i went there it was so late i came out around 10 o'clock from the clinic and my husband was waiting to pick me and my younger son slept he had early dinner and he slept my elder one was waiting and i said uh, ragu better we get some dinner and we'll go to home i said that he listened um he didn't reply anything to me and uh, even i didn't second time i didn't ask that is my problem not problem that is the d2 i think i didn't ask second time and i was waiting almost 5 minutes we traveled uh see i that time i thought if he is a d personality he might say no why you want to get outside food he might say that if he is a personality okay we'll go with you yeah it's late right even you had some procedure so better we get outside but i think he might uh, say uh, be an uh, a personality if he is a c at least he would have say, he would have say okay outside food is not healthy right at least we can make some dosa or something why you are uh, bothering about uh, getting outside abdin yes or no with some validation he might answer since he is x he didn't answer me since i am also x i didn't nag i didn't uh, ask it again both were talking inside you know it almost we reached home near to home and second time i very strongly said please ma again i have to make dosa and I, it's very late morning also we had dosa can we get some food outside please reply me immediately and he said okay we'll go so i think because of x and my elder son is also having x1 x2 all these things okay so seriously morning to night now the past 5 days 6 days 
whatever we do, oh, we are ex-personality, right? We are ex-personality, right? So we, we three are uh, talking and yeah, here is my comparison between myself and my husband. And uh, yeah, I'm a multidisciplinary learner. He's an accelerated learner and adaptiveness. Yeah, almost same. Uh, he's almost having 51.8. Uh, both are affective personality. I'm 60 percentage affective personality. He's also the same. And my right brain is super fast. His left brain is fast. He's a very analytical guy. You know, logic, sorry. He's a very logical guy. Always he wants logic. But I'm uh, dead opposite to that. Working memory, his sensory memory. And uh, smartness. I'm more of word smart, cosmic and music. He's uh, word logic and nature. The converging and myself he's diverging but uh, i say we both are made for each other uh, i think it's because of d2 i'm avoiding all the conflicts i think so yes my myself and gbb march 2022 i got this golden opportunity and it influenced me a lot and uh, yeah i think i was waiting for this okay so uh, this perfect match and analysis. Seriously, Blue Balancer give 100% about each and every line. And next to that, Ratna Sami sir, he said, uh, very in a nutshell, he said certain things. Okay, so I'm waiting to go to the next level as early as possible. Okay, and I will make, we will make some revolution with this GBB profile. And one more thing, I keep on insisting many people and you know, in on one thing, if a right marriage, uh, the right couple, you know, they are uh, going to make a, uh, going to be a good parent. So the couple, a good happy couple, is uh, it's a very demand now. So before marriage, we have to give them a better clarity on this GBB so that they can easily understand about their spouse. So yeah, that is one thing. There it helps, and the, regarding student. I really hate this uh, current school curriculum and scenarios because I know kinesthetic kids, I know about visual kids, I know about auditory kids. The visual and auditory strong kids, you know, they can sit and watch all the experiment, all the board, uh, you know, signs and uh, calculations. But the kinesthetic kid can't sit and read even from his childhood. So our people uh, in abroad, we are having certain programs for kinesthetic. Yeah, they can, uh, various curriculum are there. But in our country, in our Indian curriculum system, the kid has to sit and read how, how bad it is, right? So, yes, we have to work on it. So we have to come out, at least the parents has to get to know what is GBB and how the brain is working, what sort of dominance of brain the, the kid is having, what the interest is, uh, you know, uh, the towards uh, uh, the you know, pattern. So all these things uh, the, the kid has to know, the parents has to know. So either way, this GBB uh, is going to uh, help all pattern, you know, all people. So let's bring it up, you know, we'll, we'll make many people to understand this GBP. And yes, that's all about my story and GBP. This is uh, the self-discovery. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this golden opportunity. And uh, Ratna Sami, sir, is yeah. there. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you, Andy. Yeah. As usual, the floor is open. Uh, the participants can uh, unmute and give their feedback. And then I'll I'll conclude the session with my uh, comments and remarks about the uh, session. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, please raise your hand and uh, you can unmute and uh, give your feedback. Yes, Bhavanaji. Good evening, sir. Welcome, Manandi. It was a very interesting session, full of energy, full of. Uh, energy to talk and energy to do also <laughs> so <laughs> so that's uh, amazed at your achievements at this young age how much you have achieved various businesses that you you got your uh, finger into and uh, being very successful in each one of them and also being interested in gbp so now we have parenting from the womb so <laughs> sir can add Another feather to his parenting cap. Parenting from the womb can start with your help. And uh, it's uh, wonderful to see you uh, flourishing so well. I wish you all the best. 
and welcome to the Midna family. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, anyone else? Yes, Harish. Uh, Anandi ji, welcome on board to Midna GBP. And uh, as uh, Bona ma'am said, you seem to have very high energy levels, both in parenting and, uh, you know, you're going to be a big asset to Midna. And uh, all I can say is all the best to you and uh, great presentation and welcome on board to Midna. All the best to you. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. Yes, Bopanandi. Yes, Anandi, ma'am. So, yes, sir. It was really good. Uh, thank you. It's thank all you because of you. It's all because no, of you. No, it is your effort, ma'am. Ultimately, it was really good. Uh, you packed it very well because you said, sir, let me just focus on my strength and I would like to express myself on the area where I, I wanted to. You were justified, actually speaking. So, just explore yourself. You have. Uh, lot of potential. In fact, uh, you have very peculiar thing that you have the ability to work with the, uh, the mind on womb. So, so get to explore yourself and keep growing more. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Anyone else? And just to share the poll, you can, all of you can respond. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, we'll conclude with uh, some observations and some feedback. First of all, uh, as I said, uh, you are a special edition in this planet. And the interesting thing is you have an X square at your uh, as a spouse. So, it is going to be even more interesting. I think once that understanding of, uh, of what we are comes to us, I think the total journey is in a different dimension. It is very interesting to see that uh, you have been doing a lot of brain-related activity without really uh, knowing what is in internally happening. It is something like you work with a gadget without having a knowledge of the inner configuration of the gadget, how it is being manufactured. Now with genetic brain profiling, you are able to know the blueprint of the brain that you are expecting to have. So, so far, your learning was happening more on the results, giving you a knowledge, and then you rework on that experience and then go back to, again, uh, try some new things and all, uh, and then learn like that. It's like trial and error learning that you have done, okay? Because nobody can for sure tell this is the method, unless otherwise you have some theoretical, uh, you know, uh, understanding, thereby you can directly get into the practice. So without genetic brain profiling, you have made such a big impact. And I do agree, this cannot be, uh, you know, proven directly on a day one, okay, next day you come and see me, it won't happen like that. It's a very long standing effort, uh, methodologies, and it will take a lot of time. And uh, sometimes this kind of experience actually you have to follow up with them. You have to be in touch with them and get the feedback. Even if they don't uh, communicate, you have to make a communication. So it really requires a lot of follow-up and uh, data gathering and trying to learn from that. I think something like that you have done. Now coming to your, uh, <clears throat> your brain design, uh, obviously the number one of yours is that left temporal. So uh, you said that you will not give any book to others to read. That is because of your visual lobe and the temporal lobe when it is strong, you become a reader. And with your X1, you read things which generally girls don't read. Okay, kind of books that you choose to read also is not that romantic, uh, you know, running behind the trees and uh, telling that I can't live without you kind of, you know, I don't want to call nonsense, but uh, that's a kind of routine love, uh, you know, falling in love, that's very blind kind of thing. You want to fall in love with your eyes fully open and I should know why I am falling in, in love kind of thing, practical love we call it as. So I think very interesting that you have come across somebody who is also equally 
thinking on the similar lines and i think that's very interesting uh, uh, you know composition i would say so i think somewhere you had lot of conflicts in the beginning then afterwards you fell in a place where uh, you know he understood you were uh, you were cranky and uh, you understood he is cranky and cranky cranky together became you know very easy to handle the relationship i think only an ex can understand the other ex that's the kind of uh, you know thought process i also share otherwise it will you will definitely would have gone into kind of divorce i would say with your kind of profile with so much of uh, individualistic i want to be on my own i will not be subdued when i think i want to do something i will do it at any cost that assertiveness kind of determination is actually will work with somebody also who is giving you a freedom to try whatever you want but in the initial days they will try to have some control but uh, i think uh, he is more ex than you in, in the technical uh, terminology so i think uh, somewhere <laughs> is it is more like a, what they call uh, you know uh, two extremes of uh, thought process definitely is that i think somewhere it, you you met him on the other side of the bank that is the word i would call it as okay but not not on the same side you met him on the other side of your life and there you found lot of similarities are there and i think that's how it you got connected and very interesting and i'm very happy to know that all that you went through uh, with your first child's uh, pregnancy has has opened your eyes on uh, that uh, if i am not good at my work if that means if i don't have a child to demonstrate to my uh, my clients i think i am not very comfortable in doing this work i think you wanted to prove that uh, this works and i am an example like in my case i wanted to tell the world that i have understood my children and i gave the genetic brain profiling uh, results uh, in their life now i can go out and tell other parents that yes genetic brain profiling works if i don't believe in genetic brain profiling if i don't guide my child to get married to a girl where personality matching is not there i can't go out and tell the college going children that you should find out the personality and match personality because i am having a guilt feeling that i did not do how can i ask others to do i think that was a big challenge for me as so with a very small ex my ex is not as strong as you are so i would say you are double the square of my uh, uh, i would say my ex is a very you know small ex kind of thing so what is that i am trying to tell is with a small ex you can think so differently and uh, possible solutions you can work out on it with a cognitive prefrontal though it is a double loop still it is cognitive you have a very powerful four processes in your prefrontal decision making that is what is making you multi dimensional person to try up so many entrepreneurships and and uh, but you did everything without knowing there is a flaw in your design to do a business so i am sure when you said that i did not make money all those things that uh, that is all there inherently inbuilt in this design had you did this genetic brain profile before you started your entrepreneurial ventures i think you would have uh, you know you have you would have minimized your pain and suffering and probably you could have uh, you know made a better choices or wise choices whenever there was a possibility was that okay now coming to the uh, you know uh, the uh, the kind of work that you are doing uh, I, i know uh, uh, many of the family members know that i am we are doing a pre marital guidance for the college going children at their final year especially in their post graduation we are doing a program almost like a half day program where three people used to uh, come together and give a half day workshop the first session will be on a by a gynecologist on the physical aspect of life because right from the um, uh, you know uh, menstrual cycles initiation and how they should handle their regular issues and regular monthly challenges and what is pregnancy and how they should get into their uh, you know relationships and how they need to awarefully handle that because in india if if the love is happening accidentally if the relationship is happening accidentally if the marriage is happening accidentally and the pregnancy is happening accidentally the life of the child is definitely going to be an accident i don't i don't deny on that so the whole effort of this program was to reduce divorces 
so that people go through it with a anticipation that it is not all roses and roses out when you get married it is the marriage that you see the love you see in a film and what is you see in a reality you are not safe so we used to go and tell please you can dream about a person but don't dream about a life that will come with a person because that is going to be decided by your thought process you want brain design all that so after that gynecologist talked about the physical aspect of it i used to take a session for an hour about how we are individually differently wired how what kind of challenges that come how why this marriage and the husband and wife relationship is the most challenging relationship that we can think of in the whole of the universe this is the most difficult relationship because till yesterday he was an idiot and stupid and all that okay suddenly today we don't know he came into our life and we have to treat him like a hero uh, and we live for him it is not easy to have, easy possible okay so that is the challenge that come in so we need to prepare mentally to them why men are like this and women are not are in a different uh, planet altogether how a two different planets have to come together and become one planet kind of thought process which is not very easy unless otherwise you accept that men are like this and women are like this they are more likely to think in this lines i don't think without that knowledge something will happen happily it will not happen so i continue to tell <coughs> this parenting is a 20 year project 5 years before birth 5 years after birth 10 years most crucial for uh, for a, a new generation to come in the next 10 years is something you can very relaxedly go through it so that is how my my sessions would be so with 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 your session integrated with it we can go not to the college children but definitely children who are looking for settling down their life the company it companies where a lot of uh, you know youth have a lot of money they have all the wealth and facilities but they are not preparing themselves towards a pregnancy i think i strong believe that the genetics also can be changed if you work very intensively that is what you also continue to say i believe the childhood should come like a penance okay if you have no time for it if you don't have a mindset for it please don't produce a child because it is going to be a harassment for the child for the 100 next 100 years for few minutes of pleasures that come in the physical relationship many a children are born unwantedly in this planet and sometimes they go through the pregnancy because they can't get away with it they can't terminate it so this is such a painful uh, experience for the children they did not long to come to us we only wanted uh, to have a toy to play for both husband and wife for that we can always buy a pet and uh, live with a pet after 12 years it will die you will also lose your interest to take care of maybe you can buy another dog and live with it but i think uh, many a parents are treating children like a puppies in their home they want to uh, engage themselves they want an entertainment with the children but unfortunately in the process they are actually producing a problematic person in this world otherwise tell me how an individual goes into very uh, unnatural sexual activities and all during childhood in the school somebody is doing all the nonsense we are the parents who have produced those children so somewhere i think there is a challenge for us and for me the difficulty was you go to the adult they say you go to my parents they go to the parents they say uh, what is the use in telling us you go and tell the children to be to, to take care of themselves so i think our target starts at the age of 18 okay maybe teenagers from teenage you have to start first they have to settle down their internal uh, money related issues and then only love should come but in most of the current uh, 21st century children fall in love first and then they think of their careers and all that so a lot of uh, anomalies and uh, uh, you know derail derangement of their life process happening it is going to be a very very difficult task there is no doubt about it because artificial intelligence is going to kill the humanity because we are all born from an artificial insemination okay more children are born with an insemination done from a test tube and all kinds of manipulative methods it is going to be more difficult to inculcate the thought process of 
you know penance in in the couple but i think even if you can get a few handful of people it is worth doing i am a strong believer that a child can be designed like how you customize a car and make a car for a special edition you can make a child a special edition in this planet by working very very intensively not from the pregnancy right from 5 years at least uh, uh, children have to prepare themselves if that is very difficult we should say you go and live be in a live in relationship you can have vasectomy and tubectomy if you want but you enjoy life just on the physical aspect of it please don't produce a child in fact i wanted to design a flyer don't produce a child okay it would look very cranky for people because producing a child is not reproduction oriented it should be something like you create a child what is your contribution animals are reproducing human beings should produce that means they should want a child and as you very rightly said if you can change the thought you can change your body if the body is changed the mind is changed and obviously every cell is a human being and if you don't change work on the cellular level then the organ level will not happen the body level will not happen the mind level will not happen so it is a very very uh, challenging task it is not very easy to do but i think uh, capital x like you would uh, go ahead and uh, design a program i think you will need tens and hundreds of people like you to to follow up this process to to take it to the colleges and ensure children obviously one good news that is coming in is nowadays children don't want now nowadays youth don't want children that's a good news because instead of producing children and they suffer for their lifetime let it it is good that they don't want children now we can approach them and tell them what is your problem if you are interested in if you want to take it as a challenge you can produce a child you want and that is the process that we should put so number of children producing is not our target the quality of children and their thought process is very important i have a strong belief there are two ways this world will end one way is we will artificial intelligence will come come human brains will be hijacked by the machines and few people will control the whole humanity through their programs we all become addictive to the technology and we will die we cannot live with this technology okay we cannot live without the technology and we'll all become addict to this technology and we will die frustrated the other possibility which i am still considering a possibility is you can produce children consciously and they change bring in the change and the whole world can change into the other dimension of peace and serenity in the life and that is also possible i believe that is very much possible currently whomsoever we are uh, believing that they are gods in this planet and uh, taking care of us we can produce god like children and they will take care of this planet from collapsing so i strongly believe that the world will restart when it is about to get uh, extinct human being will start a new cycle and there will be some people who will be initiating the next cycle of human beings that would be those people who are uh, who who produce children very consciously so lot of scope is there because when whenever there is lot of pain and suffering coming that means there is some good news is going to come and that's i also strongly believe i hope with genetic brain profiling you should be able to bring parents and do their genetic brain profiling now you know what is the possibility of conflict that will be there between them it is not only producing a child after producing the child what kind of an environment you give it to the children also matters so it's a very very uh, long process we need to prepare them mentally as well as physically physiologically they must be willing to you know like a military they must be willing to sacrifice their personal life uh, to produce a very peaceful child and a peaceful humanity in this world and i am sure we will find more number of people because we are scientifically having a tool to understand themselves what i personally think is before they copulate before they come physically they should know their flaws and challenges and they should say like okay i agree with your flaws you agree with my flaws let us not worry about the flaws let us see what best we can do together that kind of acceptance and uh, 
uh, reconciliation comes in, it will be a great opportunity to work on. And one more point, as you said, many people in this world are, are telling that you work on your strengths, you work on your strength. I think strengths, very, very simple logic is strength means you must use, you should not uh, accelerate that. Obviously, because we know, suppose we are wanting money, more money comes, it becomes toxic. It becomes a painful one. So what we should tell everyone is your strengths are there to work on the weakness. It is not to work on the strengths. Then who will look after the weakness? It is like people feed the rich only with more money. Where will the poor go? I continue to believe unless otherwise you balance your weakness and bring it towards the strength in this world also rich and poor will exist. If you would want an equality in the humanity that all poor should become rich and all rich should become equally, you know, to the balance. If it is not happening outside, it will not happen inside. But if it happens inside, I am strong believer it will happen outside. So the change cannot happen from outside that will happen inside. But if every individual works balancing towards the brain, I think the cosmos or the universal brain also will get balanced. And then we will live in humanity and, uh, and the kind of compassion that will come. So I think it's a big task. But if you cannot do it, if the if we human beings cannot do it, I think it will not happen on its own. No magic will happen on its own. We will have to make it happen. I think with genetic brain profiling, with this kind of fine tuning, you are uh, pre-pregnancy programs and pregnancy programs and the breastfeeding programs or the early nurturing. I think if that 10 years we can work on, uh, I think we can definitely produce a better human uh, beings with a higher harmony index and people will go through it and naturally the spiritual quotient will get ex exhibited. I think now the spiritual quotient is not getting exhibited because of a lot of turbulence inside. People want to run away from the family commitments. They don't want to work on the family harmony and they want to work, don't want to work on people. But if you produce a child with a high harmony index, I'm sure the child will wanting to work on the harmony index of the society and the social, uh, you know, the, the bigger uh, dimension of human life. I think that the changes will happen. So I once again thank for your, uh, I should thank uh, uh, Bhupal uh, who could convince you because it is not very easy to get this D2s and D3s into the sessions. It is definitely more uh, uh, difficulties and challenges I do understand. So, uh, but it is very good for convincing others, but to make you to do something is not that easy. Okay, so I think uh, Bhubalan did a good job there because he's more process centric, you are more goal centric. I think that's the combination that is working. So I'm happy that Vanita convinced you to uh, get into this course because with your uh, this work without genetic brain profiling is like, uh, you know, trial and error. I think with genetic brain profiling, it will naturally happen. You don't need to really put in too much. I think you will find even in our network, a lot of people can, uh, you know, together and, and help you in reaching more places and some programs can be made online so that every mother can be at home and still listen to whatever is their courses and activities. And locally, we can plan some meeting place and where certain programs can be conducted in a group also. I think a lot more can be done with the regional uh, representatives and uh, local people uh, who have gone through this program can be a great uh, 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 contributors to, uh, to reach this program to more. And I think with genetic brain profiling, it will be a more hits than misses happening. And I think uh, it will be a great opportunity for all of us to contribute towards uh, the harmony index of the universe. That's what I would uh, like to say. And uh, thank you very much for your session. Yeah. I think, yeah, somebody speaking. Yes, uh, Haris. Sir, I just wanted to uh, remind everybody, uh, this is a warm invite for tomorrow's session for uh, uh, both GBP as well as sound healing. I request all of you to uh, please participate.